Hey guys, and welcome back to yet another video right here on Tetra Bay Gaming. So, contrary to the popular belief, I do in fact have some sort of life outside of YouTube. And the biggest eater of all my time is definitely school. In about a year's time, I'll hopefully be graduated with a degree in mechanical engineering. So I was kind of thinking, hey, why not try and incorporate some of my schoolwork into some video game applications as well? You know, so I can say I'm studying when I'm actually not. As such, welcome to Bitbusters, the brand new series on this channel where I will be exploring phenomena in gaming using various engineering principles. Think game theory, but with less Five Nights at Freddy's... ...and more fluid dynamics. Velocity of the pipe uh, is equal to uh, 2 meters per second. As this is a new series, guys, I would love to hear your feedback to see if I should continue it or how I can improve. So if you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave it a like and comment down below. Or if not, and you think it's too technical or boring or whatever, let me know as well. Also a quick reminder, this is an analysis of a video game and not real life, so some assumptions will have to be made and the answers might not always make physical sense. And with all of that out of the way, let's crunch some bits. So as you know, there are some Mario games with graphics that have aged pretty well. And others, not so much. Super Mario Sunshine has so far lived on to be one of the games that looks pretty good to this day, and is still a favorite among many Nintendo fans. The bright tropical game features Mario going around various areas collecting shine sprites with his water pack, appropriately named Flash Liquidizer Ultra Dowsing Device, or just Flood for short. So for this first Bitbusters video, I decided it would be good to start with a simple question. Just how powerful is Flood? Now there are two ways that I've come up with that we can answer this question. For the first, more simplistic method, we will need to analyze some forces. In this case, there are three major forces at work. The force from Mario's weight which pulls him down to the ground, and then the two water jets which push Mario off the ground, and allow him to hover in the air. Now in order for Mario to not be getting any higher or falling down, these forces must be equal. For example, if the force of the water jets is larger, Mario will start to elevate higher or if the force is less, then Mario will start to fall. So first, let's get a value for the force from Mario's weight, which Flood must overcome in order to lift Mario. But what exactly is Mario's height? And that's a really good question. The best way I could think of to determine Mario's weight is just to base it off of his height. Now there have been countless videos on the internet theorizing Mario's height, and it's sort of become a meme at this point. Nintendo did provide an official height of 5 foot 1 or 155 centimeters. But that being said, judging from the latest game, Super Mario Odyssey, Mario is also just barely taller than a fire hydrant. And that is only half the height of the residents of New Donk City. So either Mario is now only like 2 feet tall, or everyone and everything in New Donk City is giant. And unfortunately, Super Mario Sunshine also doesn't really simplify this for us, as Mario sometimes is the size of some fish and fruits. So since scale in the Mario universe seems basically arbitrary, I'm just going to settle with the official height of 5 foot 1 provided by Nintendo, and assume Mario isn't a dwarf. Now to assume the mass. Mario isn't skinny like Luigi, but he's also not fat like Wario, so I think it's safe to assume Mario is probably around an average mass for his height. And apparently a normal mass for a 5 foot 1 male is between 100 and 131 pounds. So let's take the middle of that range to be even more average, and say Mario's mass is approximately 115.5 pounds. Alright, enough of the Imperial system, time to switch over to the GOOD SYSTEM. And boop, just like that we get 52.4 kilograms. Now to put this into perspective, Flood needs enough power to lift about 26 big jars of peanut butter. Oh my god. That's nuts! Now whatever planet or dimension or timeline the Mushroom Kingdom resides in, I'm going to assume they have the same acceleration due to gravity like ours on Earth of 9.81 meters per second squared. So then multiplying mass and the acceleration due to gravity together, we can determine Mario's weight to be around 514 newtons. Now that we have this weight value, let's take another look at the system. Since there are two water jets coming out from Flood, each jet will have to produce enough thrust to balance a half of Mario's weight. Then, as I said earlier, in order to have Mario neither rising nor falling and hovering like he does in the game, all the force terms must equal, and as such we have the thrust force equal to Mario's mass times gravity. This equation is also known as Newton's second law of motion. As such, by having Mario's weight, we can determine that each flood nozzle shoots out water with a force of 256 Newtons. Alright, time to turn it up and get a little bit more technical. 
The second, more involved method is to find the force of the water jet from the mass flow rate and the exit velocity of Flood's nozzle. So after doing a little bit of math and rearranging, which I won't bore you with, the equation to determine thrust force simplifies to the mass flow rate of the water coming out of Flood's nozzles, multiplied by the exit velocity of the water. Thanks to some work done by fellow YouTuber SwankyBox, he determined that Flood holds about 708.3 gallons of water, or about 2,681.2 liters, and it takes Flood about 42.5 seconds to discharge all of this water. This helps us find Flood's mass flow rate to be about 63.09 kilograms per second. So to kind of explain that, that means Flood needs to shoot about 63.09 kilograms of water for every second that passes. Now we only need one more piece of the puzzle to get our answer, and that's the exit velocity of the water jet. This I found could be determined by dividing the mass flow rate by the cross-sectional area of the nozzle, as well as the density of the water. While the density of water is a known value of approximately 1,000 kilograms per meters cubed, the cross-sectional area is a bit more complicated to determine. I know I said scaling in the Mushroom Kingdom is whack, but it's really the only way of guesstimating Flood's nozzle diameter. So after comparing Mario's height to the nozzle, the diameter was found to be 34.4 centimeters, or just over a foot. As you can imagine, that's pretty big for a nozzle. Either way, using this diameter, the area of the nozzle exit is found to be 931.8 centimeters squared. And then using this area, the exit velocity is calculated to be a pretty slow 0.677 meters per second. And finally, by multiplying this exit velocity by the mass flow rate of the water, we get a final answer for Flood's thrust force to be a much lower 42.7 newtons per nozzle. By this math, that would mean that Mari would only weigh about 8.7 kilograms or 19.2 pounds. That's video game logic for ya, and thankfully it doesn't have to make sense. So, based on both methods, we can see that although Flood is good for hovering around, it won't be causing much harm to enemies or punching holes through steel anytime soon. Not like a certain other thing that might be a little bit more powerful. And that'll be all for this first episode of Bitbusters, guys. I know it was a little bit different, but I do hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you did like this video and would like to see more of these episodes in the future, please let me know in the comment section below, or if you didn't, or if I made any mistakes, please let me know as well so I can improve for the future. And if you're new here and would like to stay up to date with me and the channel, please be sure to subscribe here and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, and Facebook as well. Links to all of those pages will be in the description below. But as always guys, thank you all so much for watching today and for all of your amazing support. Till next time, I will see you in a bit.